Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and this is going to be how I colour skin. It's not a tutorial as such, it's just, I suppose you can colour with me and I'll break it down step by step on the stages and what I do and how I layer and what colours to go with. So we'll get this started. I have done the first one here, which, and these are all the pencils that we're going to be using, so I'll go through them. And I have also, in the corner, I will put this so you know which colour I'm using at each stage. So it is going to be with Prismacolors. I have got the Luminance White. I've also got the Luminance Buff Titanium, but we don't necessarily need this one. It's more likely to be the white. And you can use the Prismacolor Black. But I just prefer to use the Polychromo, the Faber Castell Black, um, just because I find that more easier for me to work with. But the rest of it is going to be Prisma colours. We're going to be using Light Peach, Espresso, White, Henna, Nectar, and then for the eyes we can choose which colours. We can either do brown, green, blue. I've just done green on this one. And yellow and done the little lines so it looks more lifelike. And then on her lips I've just used henna again but without the light peach. So I have also altered her eyebrows a little bit but we'll do that in the stages that when we get to them. But her eyebrows are just a thin line and I've just added a little bit of texture to it. And I've also added in just these lines and we use a Posca paint pen in the very fine one, 0 0.7. And then also a, oh I'm sorry if it goes blurry, the Uniball Signo White 2. So these are going to be your tools throughout. So I did have one just to prepare here, we can use this as a guide, but we're going to do it on the camera now, stage by stage. So I'm going to zoom in for you, and we're going to start, I'm really sorry because the tripod is over where I sit, so it's always a little bit more difficult to work with. Okay, So we're going to start off with PC927 Light Peach. And you're just gonna cover the entire area very lightly. Don't apply too much pressure, just go very, very lightly all over the entire face. It just gives you a base coat ready to start layering with your other colors. When you get to the middle of her forehead, because a lot of light reflects off of that area, you really do have to leave that as light as possible. So for now, you are just applying a very, very light coat with the lightest pressure of light peach. Andrew, my partner's got um, football one in the background, so if you hear that, He's sitting in the same room watching football. So that's the perfect time for me to do this because I have no interest in football. Can't stand it. It's just not for me. <laughs> perfect excuse to come and colour. I was like, yes. So I grab my coffee, which I've got here, and my pencils and thought this would be a good time to do this skin tutorial. What you all colouring at the moment? I have a uh, Kirby Roseanne's colour along going on over on Instagram at the moment for the whole month of November, and I am working on that. But I thought I'd just stop for tonight and and do the skin in case anybody wanted to see this. And I'm so overwhelmed and grateful to everybody being so nice and kind over my channel. So I was like, thank you. <laughs> Okay, so that's how I just start off. Right, 
so it doesn't look like anything at the moment it doesn't look like I've got anything down but I have it's very very light now I'm going to go in with nectar and pop that up there now you're going to pick out your darker areas now I'm putting a little amount of pressure not much just a small amount and I'm going to pick out where I think the shading needs to start so you will go darker in the grooves that you've got here and behind the hair and the cheeks but don't fuss too much at the moment about it looking great because you're just picking out the areas to start you're gonna warning you now <laughs> anyone that knows me knows how much I layer and layer and I'm really sorry <laughs> But um, there is going to be quite a few layers on this skin to make it look like that. Um, so you start off very lightly. You go with the pressure, you go with the layers and you end up with a lot more... Um, I don't know what I would say. It stands out more, it pops off the page more. More lifelike, that's what I was looking for. I lost my little card then. So, we shall do that. I've been sitting and looking quite a lot at the Holby and pencils because of Jen. Um, and if you most of you know who Jen is because you've gone, come over from her channel and her group so thanks Jen but some people who might not be aware of Jen she is I'm going to link her in the description she's over on the YouTube channel reading with pugs she's brilliant she's amazing love watching her streams um yeah she uh She's been quite encouraging over this whole YouTube journey so far, so I thought, why not? Let's go for it. Okay, so remember, I'm just doing like a medium pressure. I'm not going heavy. Just medium at the moment. You're just picking out your shadows and where the light might hit. You hear the little tweets, this is my budgies in the background. So I'm doing this in the front room. Okay, so we're going to go here too. Just very lightly. And we're going to pick out where the crown sits, a little tiara. All medium pressure, guys. Because we're going to layer. And when you lay, you go a little bit more heavy. So, she's going to go in her eyes. And then, under her cheek. I'm quite looking forward to starting all the Christmas pictures very soon. I'm just waiting on the. Um, actually, I've got to have a mouthful of drink. <laughs> I'm waiting on the Hannah Ling Christmas book and the Jade Summer uh, Christmas, which looks great. So I'm quite looking forward to all the festive colouring. And I am going to focus on that for the month of December. And I'm still trying to pick out the uh, picture for cosy colouring night I don't know if it's a start on a Christmas picture I need to sit and think I 
For those of you who are tuning in and you're thinking, what am I on about? There's a cosy colouring night which will be on the 18th of November, UK time 6pm till 9pm and then US, Long Island, uh, I think that's where Jen's from, yeah, Long Island, it's 6 till 9 in the U US there too. Jen is the one hosting and I'm co-hosting. I will be doing the stream for the UK and Jen will be doing the stream for the US. And it should be a fun night and everybody's welcome. And we will stream for the first hour or so on YouTube but we will continue for the rest of the evening with our pyjamas, with our setups, with our pictures and everybody joining in and that should be a really really good night so for those of you who would like to join in subscribe over to Jen's channel she's going to make an announcement this weekend too I will be sticking up a video this weekend announcing for my side and join in the more the merrier it should be a really good night okay we're gonna move on now you're gonna get your light peach back in a moment okay so we're gonna go back over to light peach I'm just gonna blend in that nectar a little bit you put in a medium to fairly heavy pressure on your pencil now. You're just going to blend in the nectar all around where you've just gone with it. And work your way into the lighter areas that you've left. You're going to start building your layers up now. Bear with me guys, we're back in two seconds. Sorry about that, I had a puppy biting my rug, so I've had to leave him to have time out. <laughs> okay, so as I said, sorry, um, we're going from the nectar and blending that in, so you're pressing fairly hard, I wouldn't say medium to hard here and then you're going to lighten your pressure as you're going towards the middle so you're going hard into a light pressure I'm going to bring her down a little bit um, so you again at the top because you want to leave this area here fairly light You're going to blend that in a bit later with a white pencil. So 
So you leave it fairly light, just go very lightly with the pressure in the middle. Like on your own forehead, the, le the light tends to hit this area here. So you're going to leave that, yes looking like skin, but as light as possible. And it also brings out all the shadows more. You're going fairly heavy handed here because these parts are a bit darker. If you wanted to know where this image is from, it's a Mica Jelena image. I'll just put this one in. It's called Sweet Tooth and it's on her Etsy store. So if you wanted to colour along with the same picture, it is I think about two pounds something, two pounds fifty in English. I'm not sure what that works out in dollars, probably about three dollars and probably near to four dollars, I'm not quite sure. But it's on her Etsy store. So if you go into Etsy and you type in Micah Jelena, this one is called Sweet Tooth. But you can apply this to any face, but the light will hit differently on other faces because of shadows being in different places or how the face, the way the face is positioned. So like with here, she's got her finger there so there's going to be a shadow that's cast. Whereas that wouldn't, you would leave that lighter if it hadn't, which you're going to do with that side. <laughs> So you can apply this to any picture, any face that's quite a large area. So I'm going to go a bit harder with my pressure there. Into a lighter pressure to the middle and it just applies all the way around the face. Now I'm going to grab henna and I'm now going to go quite deeper with where shadows and the darker parts and the skin tones would be or I should imagine they would be and you're going quite light here because it's quite a dark shade henna and it's quite highly pigmented so you don't have to be too heavy handed with this and you've got your guide from what you did with the nectar so you're more or less following that guide and going over that with henna figure out on my last one I think I I did I've used it yep it's okay I'm rambling to myself here just trying to figure out where I went it's, it's just all over the areas that you've gone with the nectar I'm trying to be a little bit quieter as I talk at the moment because my partner's fell falling asleep <laughs> over this and blend it in after. It's just getting a lay down. I might do this image in parts. 
So I'll do the face today and then we might do the rest of the skin and then maybe hair and stuff another time. I think we can break it down into about four videos. Okay, so... You're going very light with your pressure still. Not heavy handed. But your layers is what counts. Your layers is what builds this up and brings the picture to life. Okay, now we're going to go back in with our light peach and we're going to blend in what we've just done with the henna. You're going medium pressure here, not heavy but not light, just a bit heavier than usual. I use the kind of pencils to blend in rather than a blender pencil because if you layer enough and you use your lighter shade again, that's your blending. Right, you see how when it starts to build up it starts to look more like a skin tone rather than a washed out version. Prisma colours are absolutely great for layering and blending because they're very forgiving and you can layer quite a lot without the paper ripping whereas a harder pencil like the polychromos which are my favourites personally, I love polys. They're a little bit harder and not as forgiving when you layer. So I recommend that if you're following this and you find this easier, that you stick with your Prismacolors in these particular pencil colours to do your skin tones. You're going all over where you've just been with the light peach and blending in. Right, she's starting to come to life. Now I'm going to go back in with nectar and just go over and take the redness away of the henna but it still keeps some of the henna colour down. I'm just going to darken and pick out those areas again. Okay, and then 
same with this side. You're going to re-darken all these black lashes with a black pen. If you've got a black Posca paint pen or a gel pen or even a biro, that would be fine. As long as it's black and it's quite inky, it will help them all stand out again. time and blend that back in with the light peach. I need to sharpen this two seconds. I use the um, m and sharpener and I prefer the longer point. I know the Prismacolors come with a short point but I think when you use them as frequently the longer points are much better. Again, you're going over the entire area. Now her nose, on here, I've just picked out where I thought that I would have a bit more of a bridge. So with your nectar, just pick out, you don't have to do this but I just think it looks a bit more lifelike. And it's the same with the eyelids where it would bridge down. And then you can just blend that back in your light peach so it looks a bit more like you would if you looked in a mirror. Now, you're going to be grabbing espresso. This is where you start putting your shadows in. So now you're going to pick out the areas that would be quite dark. So again, I just refer to this one. So I've picked out the sides here where the hair covers. Here where she seems to be at a slant, the shadow by the, the finger on her lips, underneath the hair here, and again under the eye. So we're going to go with that, and we're going to start picking out where she might have a lot more of a shadow. Concentration to play without the ball for 
You're applying a medium pressure here because you need to lay down the colour but you don't need to press too hard otherwise it can black it out. Now you're going to do the same with the next side. Her nostrils. I've got a bit too much on that one. That's it. Don't want it as much. That's better. I'm going back in with henna. Just going over where I've put the espresso. Just go lightly with this, not heavy. I've missed a little bit there, I'll go back on that. Sorry, back to espresso. Just missed a bit. Him a light peach. Thank you. 
Now I'm going to go in with white. You're quite heavy now. Press heavy into it to blend everything together. Pick nectar back up. So I'm very light, me. Go around your shadow areas again. getting there now. Not much more. <laughs> it takes a while. Grab your light peach one more time. And then just very quickly back with white. Okay, she's almost there. She's going back 
one last time with espresso. Okay, I think she's looking all right now. Sorry, I'm just going back over my area here with henna. I just want to darken it up just a tiny bit. Just what you've gone through, just blend that in again. Okay, so it's looking more like that skin tone now. We're going to come around. We've got Posca pens. It's really hard for me to see and get out of the way. Don't do this until you've finished the skin, otherwise it will smudge. Just brings it back out again, and the same with the other side. So I've got to turn this all the way around. You know, it's upside down. to try. So you're going to get now your henna Thank 
gonna leave it as we think the light might hit. I'm just grabbing white. Blending that in a bit. I'm gonna go back in with your henna. And then very lightly with the light peach, just go over the area. And then I just smudge it in. Chrome black now. I'm just gonna you don't have to do this part of course. And then with my black, I'm just going to go back in these areas again. Just to darken up the shadow just a tiny bit. You can go over the Posca pen with the black because it won't make a big difference at all. Eyelids, or oh, these parts here, your tear ducts. I'm just going to go around the outer part of it with the henna. And then back in and blend that into the middle with light peach. One more thing now is just her eyes. So I'm going to. You can use any green or any yellow. I'm just grabbing a luminance yellow. I'm just going on the outer circle here. Any yellow, does not matter. And then I'm going to go in with the green. That one 
is too bright. Hold on. I'll go with this one. Staying on the opposite side. And then with your black, if I can find my little card. It's right there. <laughs> it's right in the goal now. Okay. So we're going to go back in with the black just into the corners. And then with very small little lines, just add in. The effects of an eye. Very little thin lines all the way through. It looks a bit more lifelike. Now I've got to put the highlights in our eyes and that's it for this video. So you need any gel white pen that you've got. This one's particularly good. This is the Uniball Signo. And then the Posca in the 0.7mm because it's the thinnest one and it's the best for doing small lines. But very roughly, I'm going to add in the lines with a white pencil to start so that I don't muck it up. Now, I'm just going to go over the existing ones with this Uniball. And I think I'm going to go there. And I'm going to add one more small dot there. And then with the Posca pen, I have to get it going first. I'm going to add over that line that I've just put in. Just add in a shine. So if I zoom out, that's what it looks like at the end, which is almost identical. I've just done this a tiny bit more shaded. So that's it. That's how I'm going to do part one. Part two, we can at a later time do her shoulders, her hand, and maybe make a start on her tattoos. But that's how I colour skin face, eyes, lips and we'll wrap it up on this one and we'll come back for part two to finish off the skin on the rest of her. So I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks so much for watching. So thanks very much for your time and I'll see you soon.